As you're aware by either the title or my previous videos, you know that I have an A6000 and I've been testing out Reflection uh, 7DB, which has been quite amazing. Now, on my screen here, you can see that in my chat bot that I made, or chat window that I made, you have the tags called thinking and output, showing you what it's thinking in the background as it reflects about how it should give you a response in the output. Now, if I go into anything LLM, which I've set up here previously, or just now, you can see that I type in hello and it just gives me an answer. Now, uh, just first of all, starting off, if you're going to try and use this and you go into LLM preference, and if you have access to your Olama running locally or uh, forward portal to you this way, you can see that I have the same kind of uh, Olama base URL. And then uh, you have to do 127.0.0.1 instead of localhost. And then you can have access to the models that you have on your system. Now, if we go into the chat that I'm about to have here, and I type in this, and I'm now copying and pasting just to make it e things quicker and easier. And you remove the tags, um, uh, the, the you remove the um, more, the less than and more than signs, and ask it to respond uh, from now on like this. Uh, then you will have the thinking tags added in after. So it's just now it's doing it thinking and output, okay? Please provide the follow-up question or context. So now I can ask it questions and I've decided to go ahead with some reasoning questions from uh, a search online. So uh, let me have a look here on the side. Reasoning questions. Okay, so we can go with some verbal re reasoning questions, which is select the relevant word from the given alternatives. Okay, one second, I'll just copy that in there. Okay, so the question is select the relevant word from the given alternatives. Flexible, rigid, confidence. And we should be able to see it's thinking. So there we go, thinking. The user provided a question in the format of analogy. Now, if you don't have that prompt that I added in originally, it, as you saw before, it actually disappears and um, you cannot see the background thoughts that it's having because it's doing it in XML. Yeah. So the correct answer here, the correct answer is uh, dividends. Apparently, I'm not really reading the questions to see if they're actually logical. So, how about this one? It's a simpler one. Um, if all cats are dogs and all dogs are animals, then all cats are animals. True or false? Thinking. The user presented a logical argument uh, in the format of syllogism. I don't know the word. The statement provided. Uh, statements provided are. All cats are dogs, all dogs are animals. I, uh, I need to analyze these statements and determine if the conclusion all cats are animals logically follows. In logic, this type of argument is called a categorical syllogism. If uh, a syllogism, if we assume that both premises, premises, statements one and two are true, then we can deduce the conclusion using the following steps. Cats are a subset of dogs by statement one. Dogs are a subset of animals by statement two. Combining these two relationships, we can conclude that cats are indeed a subset of animals. So it's still thinking, and now, oh, it's gone into the reflection state. I realized that my analysis was focused on the logical form of the argument rather than its factual accuracies. While the conclu conclusion follows logically from the premises, it's essential to acknowledge that initial statements are not factually true. Output, from a purely logical perspective, ignoring the factual error in the premise, the answer would be true. However, please note that the response is based on the logical structure of the argument rather than its factual accuracy. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, so um, that's how you get the thinking and output statements in anything LLM, or uh, if you want to wait a second, I will show you the same thing in quad.
So um, just add that window in here. So this is Claude, and the same thing applies. Else. understands okay so how are you should come up there and thinking so uh, and thinking analyzing the question and formulating a friendly response remembering to avoid uh, this and this symbols and replace with uh, the hash symbol considering my current state and how it uh, and how to express it positively Thank you for asking, I'm doing well. So now you can see it's thinking is going on in the background. So this is a, just a simple prompt where I think you can see it here where you're replacing these two symbols, the less than and more than. Anyway, thank you for watching and I will see you again in the next video. I'm gonna use crew AI in the next video.